Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video here. Uh, my wife and I, we just um, got back from Atlanta, Georgia. And while we were down there, I did some thrifting. Um, you guys know me, I'm always thrifting and flipping to make a profit. And I just want to show you guys what I got, what it cost me, what the potential profits are from this, and how this um, paid for our rental car. Um, so, these going down places and thrifting and then selling it for a profit helps pay for the vacation. And honestly, thought I was going to get more, um, but my wife ended up getting food poisoning, we think. And she got sick, so we spent some time in urgent care while we were in Atlanta. Um, happy vacation. Um, but it is what it is. These things happen. So I was in a rush, and I actually made a mistake that I shouldn't have made. And you're going to learn from my mistake so let's jump in and let's take a look at what i found and what i think we're gonna make off this stay tuned all right y'all so here we are with the few things i found like i said i spent maybe an hour um hour and a half of time doing this going to goodwills in atlanta and what i found um was this jester North Face backpack. So I picked it up, you can see for $3.99. And as I look at sold comps, this thing is going for, I mean, on the conservative side, selling it quick to make that quick cash. That's about a $30 backpack to just get out of the way. And then we've got these Pure Boost right here. Super cool shoe. Picked these up and I got them for $5.99. Um, a great pickup, another $30 resale um, with very minimal clean cleaning to do. And you want to do that with your when you're looking for shoes and stuff. You don't want to spend a ton of time cleaning them unless you just have the extra time to put into it. And I picked these um, Reebok Nanos up as well in great condition. Picked them up for $5.99 as well. Um, and those are another probably $30 pair of shoes. And then I picked up um, these Brooks Adrenaline 19s. Brooks are a great brand to be looking out for. Um, they make super, I mean, super good running shoes, um, and they're a well-known brand. You just got to get them in good shape, and that's a, probably a $35, $40 pair of shoes right there. And then I picked up these Merrells right here. Um, they'll need a little bit of cleaning. These were actually seven bucks. And those are about a $20 resale there. So on the lower end, but making a little bit of profit there. They're a well-known brand. Uh, brand. They're waterproof, just an established brand. So they're easier to sell because people are looking for them. Then I got these Ariat, uh, Mary Jane style um, sandals here. That's another um, $25, $26 flip right there. So turning that $5.99 into that. And here we are. Dun, dun, dun. I got in a hurry and um, grabbed these shoes. Um, there's some Asics. And they're actually really good shoes. There's just a few things wrong. So one, there's no insole, which isn't a killer um, to it isn't a reason to not buy a pair of shoes, but it also it does lower the value unless you want to buy some good insoles because people are going to be using these to run and you don't want to buy cheap insoles and put them in there and sell them to somebody and that's just not good business. But the real problem is right here. You can see there's some pinky toe wear um, where it's starting to rip in. Um, I was looking at comps probably sell these um, as is for 15 bucks so you're still you're still making some money off of it but it, looking back I shouldn't have bought those now we've just seen like some 30 30 35 15 um, 25 20 30 those are the the smaller items so still making profit but my big item is right here I got you, Goodwill. You did not sneak this one over on me. What this is, is a Spider brand. Great brand to look out for. This thing is in mint condition. I don't know if anybody ever wore it, 
but has no rips, no tears, um, nothing. I, I don't even, I don't think this thing was even worn, but check this out. I got it for $2.99. Um, it's, I guess, a children's jacket, but it's actually big enough that you can, I mean, my wife can fit in it. Um, it would be, um, be able to be used for her. But this jacket on the conservative side is going to go for probably a hundred bucks. So this is definitely the big pickup for the day. I ended up spending, gosh, my average buy cost is probably $6 an item, um, on all these items. So make 125 bucks profit after I recover the money that I invested in these. So getting into reselling is a great thing. If you enjoy that type of stuff, I enjoy going to thrift stores, garage sales, auctions, all of that stuff so that I can find things to flip and make some money. So I hope you like this video, like, comment, share experiences you've had, things you're looking out for. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.